Abdul come forward. Abdul come back. Who is on the wall of fame? Golden Evan Construction Limited and Steffi Fiber. <laughs> right. Okay. So there I was coming up Crow Road on my bike. Right. Green e bike. You know the one. Anyway, that's a nice boy or something. But anyway, aye, so there we go. Um, going towards what you call Broomhill Cross up at the top outside your care home, right? There's a lot of these uh, diversions and, you know, even pavements been cut off and reinstated later on, you know with a kind of temporary walk path, right? But when I came up to the diversionary route, there were f some things that were fatally wrong right away. Building equipment in the areas that are meant to be used by the public and uh, random things like falling down metal signs, you know, the big metal signs they pull apart, uh, to put up well, was, uh, let me read, a, a bit of ground getting tarred or something or something like it, but fell down. And the way it is, uh, you know, very, very dangerous. And if you want to watch, and, uh, you could actually trip on the legs of the thing and go quite a fair distance flying, break your legs, you name it. It was an accident and it made me. Uh, fall to one side with the bike and you hear some kind of twanging noise. Turns out that the bike came off worse in that event and I'm hopefully going to be showing you photos as this goes along to make you understand what happened and how horrendous uh, and ridiculous the builder's tools being left about, falling down fences, uh, Inappropriately placed uh, metal signs that have fell down in the wind were, and what what I did, in my, in my personal opinion, there was so much shite around me, I had to do mitigating manoeuvres to save myself and the bike from getting damaged, but even so, at the highest amount of mitigation, I was still going to befall some kind of accident and unfortunately not very much has been injured on me but a bike could potentially be a write off. I'm just waiting for a mechanic tomorrow but I needed to do this emergency war fail because this company Gunnev and Construction Limited they have crisscrossed Scotland with her internet infrastructure installation and uh, I believe that was just before lockdown they got it completed they have tested it a complete network in Scotland does not exist they fucked it up a beach and they're having to do first this is the reason why they're reappearing on our streets they are known to be sloppy slack dash and everything else in between it with regards to reinstating the roads. When the when the Gun Evan construction were up my street, I actually had to write to a senior manager for him to contact me back to reinstate the roads to where they were. This is how ridiculous things are. They are sloppy. Uh, they cut the corners, they think they can just leave streets looking like the roads are Kazakh's fucking stand. Not on. But what really isn't on, I dare believe, is what what they did with leaving all sorts of builders equipment all over the place. That a kid could strip and fall, a kid could break a leg, a, a kid could break their arms, a Kid could bleed out on something sharp, you know, it's not exactly the first thing I've found in the Broomhill area site that has been sharp and just been left like as if it was a 
and last night's copy of the Metro. There is something fucking inherently wrong. And again, I want to show these photos of how difficult the diversion was and also uh, where things went awry and caused a massive accident. You know, bicycles don't come very cheap. So I will be looking at uh, avenues, uh, com uh, compensation for the city council. Uh, I'm hopefully appointing a lawyer and they'll have a wee word with you. Uh, Mr. Uh, Clevin Construction and City Viber. Uh, and I will be giving you a wee link to this video. Uh, things are very, very wrong. Right? You, you, if you're going to be working out in the street, right? Put your tools away at the end of the day. Or these fencings, right? If you think there's going to be a risk of them moving about, do something called use your fucking head and go and get a collection of sandbags. And with these sandbags, right, the fence, and it's a plastic fence, will not move. See if it's done right and you put the sandbags down, not even through gale force winds. Do these wee bits of fencing move? Come on, use your head. You're, you're, you're using a fucking main road to install cable, right? So everything should be up at its level highest, whereas your best is the level lowest. Of course, I'm going to be getting some engineer guy take a look, see how many things are broken on the bike, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to get a written report, see where that goes. The only kind of thing to see is a uh, ditch of sloppy workers, get people that actually can do a, a shift without uh, not wanting to fall asleep every five minutes. Anyway, I told everyone uh, what the problem is, where it happened, who it involved. So I'm going to sign out. Fuck you, suck a dick.